Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about 17 beta hydroxy steatide dehydrogenase deficiency. We have already discussed some other disorders of sex development like Turner syndrome, Savite syndrome, 5 alpha reductase deficiency, and you can find their links in the i button in the top right corner of this video. Let us talk about the etiology and pathophysiology of this disorder. The disorder which we are discussing is caused by the deficiency of 17 beta hydroxy steatide dehydrogenase. In fact, there are mutations in HSD17B3 gene that causes 17 beta hydroxy steatide dehydrogenase deficiency. The HSD17B3 gene provides instructions for making an enzyme called 17 beta hydroxy steatide dehydrogenase. In terms of the diagnosis of 17 beta hydroxy steatide dehydrogenase deficiency, there is an increased androstenedione to testosterone ratio. This enzyme is active in testes where it helps to produce testosterone from a weaker precursor androgen called androstenedione. So its deficiency will result in decreased amount of testosterone. What is the phenotype and karyotype of 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase deficiency? The phenotype is female and karyotype is 46XY. What is the incidence of 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase deficiency? It is present in 1 in 80,000 people, means it's a rare disorder. By rare, we means that it is present in the range of 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 10,000 people. A person in a small town is affected by this condition. Let us talk about its inheritance pattern. This condition is inherited as an autosomal recessive disorder, which means that both copies of the genes in each cells have mutations. The parents of an individual with an autosomal recessive condition each carry one copy of the mutated gene, but they typically do not show signs and symptoms of the condition. Individuals who have two copies of a mutated gene in each cell are affected by 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase deficiency. Now, with what clinical features do these patients present? These patients have got female or ambiguous genitalia because they have got low testosterone, but the karyotype is that of male. So, because of testosterone deficiency, they will get either female or ambiguous genitalia. Second clinical feature, feature is that of the male pattern deepening of the vice because the karyotype is that of the male. Also, these have increased muscle mass, but the breast development is there. The testes are present in such patient. Now, let us discuss the treatment options for these patients. The treatment options include, first of all, the psychosexual education. Psychosexual therapy is talking therapy which is aimed at helping couples and individuals talk about their lives, their sexual issues and preferences in, in order to resolve the specific sexual problem. Some people refer to this as the sex therapy. Second line of management is that of the open and frank discussion. This education should include an open and frank discussion of what is known and what is not known about the long-term effects of gender assignment, including gender identity, gender role, and sexual satisfaction. So we should have an open and frank discussion about all these issues with the patient. Third is that of the multidisciplinary team approach. These discussions need to begin as soon as the patient is discovered to have ambiguous genitalia and it's ideally performed by a multidisciplinary team that include representation from pediatric endocrinology pediatric urology or surgery genetics and mental health so with these team of doctor we should discuss the complete management of a patient along with discussion with the patient as well Last line of management is that of the surgical management in the form of gonadectomy. The individuals with 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase deficiency have an intermediate risk of germ cells malignancy. The management of 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase deficiency 
can consist according to one source of the elimination of gonads prior to puberty in turn halting masculinization. So that was all about 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency. Thank you so much. Subscribe our channel on Ops and Kine. Allah Hafiz.